Francisco Unified, and I'm also currently a senior teacher at SCOP. Uh, my name is Nicholas Chan, I'm a ninth and 10th grade math teacher at San Francisco International. My name is Chris, I'm the student support coordinator and literacy teacher at San Francisco International. Kyle Halyerby, 12th grade at internship coordinator. I'm Julie Kessler, I'm the principal. So to begin today, we would like to spend some time looking at some data points to ground our work. So we pass out some paper just now, and if you have number one, we please stand and read your points. English learners make up more than 20% of the students in California and 24% of the students in SFUS. Thank you. Number two. Number two. 6,700 unaccompanied children were released to a sponsor in the state of California in 2016. These students attend schools across California and across San Francisco Thank Unified you. School District. Thank you. Number three. The Office of Refugee Resettlement reports that 626 youth have been resettled in San Francisco since 2013, three quarters of whom are over 13 years old and many of whom are unaccompanied minors. Thank you. Number four. 30% of the students at the SF International are unaccompanied minors, most of whom are supporting themselves financially. Thank you. Number five. 33% of students at SF International have an interrupted formal education. Thank you. Number six. San Francisco International High School consistently has the highest average CELDT score growth of newcomer pathway programs in um, SF Unified. Number seven. Currently in SFUSD, continuation or alternative schedule programs are not accessible to students with itself that are below a four. Thank you. And number eight. SF International estimates that 5% of their students work more than 50 hours per week, 15% work more than 30 hours per week, and 50% work more than 10 hours per week. Thank you. All right, so now that you know a little bit about our school and some of the things we're thinking about, we're gonna talk a little bit about our design journey. Through our design journey, we realized there are a lot of things that we're very proud of at our school, but we realized that we are not yet set up to successfully support some of the students that are most underserved in our district, these students who are unaccompanied minors, students with interrupted or limited education, and students who must work to support themselves and their families. So we'll talk through some of the highlights of our design process. Um, here we have some of our team members, teachers, administrators, student support professionals, and a student thinking through some of the existing options, strategies, and supports for supporting our site students. Um, we thought about what our students' journeys look like from when they start with us and all the obstacles they face to where they leave us, which hopefully, but not always, graduation. Um, one of the things that was most meaningful for us was thinking about some of the cracks in our systems. And these were things that we thought about and reflected on based on interviews with current and former SIFE students and just our experiences as teachers. And this led us to our design question. How might we design a continuation school to better serve our recently arrived immigrant students who need to work full time? And now we're going to see a video. I'm going to introduce you to one of our former students, Daniel Bernal. He's from El Salvador, um, he made a third grade. He's with us for three and a half years, a semester away from graduating, and due to some external factors, dropped out. So, this is the story. What grade did you finish in your book?
tire. Just go back to the pocket because you think I'm going to go to work, and go to work, and go to work, and make some money. Just go back to the pocket. And you regret outside the school. You think about it every single day. ¿Cuál es mi arrepentimiento de haber dejado la escuela? Porque ahora yo siento como que... Me siento feliz por lo que estoy haciendo, pero lo mismo es triste. No pude lograr una meta que cualquier estudiante se lo propone. process with outreach to our current students, our former students, students who had great success with us, um, and students who fell through the cracks. We studied some model programs, uh, and we came up with some goals for the continuation program, continuation school, that we hope would be able to serve students like Danny. We want our, our continuation program to increase graduation rates for high school students with interrupted formal education, to develop a robust college and career pathway with multiple on-ramps and offerings, um, and to provide continuation options for English learners in SFUSD are currently unavailable. And so we came up with these goals, and they're lofty. And so we had to figure out how we would get there, what our essential features would be. Um, and so to do that, we looked to Vision 2025. And we looked to our district to see what are sort of the 10 big shifts, what are the levers that we could lean on that would help us design the most effective program possible. Um, and we identified these four, sorry, these five big levers, and then some specifics of how they would actually look for us. So we know we need personalized pathways. We know we need an opportunity for students to be able to come to school on a flexible schedule. We need blended learning so that the quality of instruction for students doesn't suffer, even though their seat time is diminished. We know we need a connection to real life tasks which we could accomplish through existing partnerships that we're developing with CCSF and our work on our internship program, which we've already been succeeding with. And we know that cultural competence and multilingualism are an essential feature of this program, especially in a post-November 8th world. For us, that'll look a lot of ways, a program that's designed specifically for this high-need population, and that includes a lot of student-facilitated support sessions. And ultimately, we need uh, teachers who can act as case managers for students, um, as well as uh, deliverers of instruction. What makes this possible? We know tonight that there are many worthy projects here that can be made reality with $15,000. And we hope that you fund those projects. Tonight, we are not standing in front of you asking for money. What makes this possible for us is space. Our school community is already set up to provide this program to students as soon as next year. But what we don't have are any classrooms in which to offer it. If we look at three high schools, San Francisco International being one of them, and two other A and B existing SFUSD high schools, and we look at square footage per student, similarly sized schools, 
We see that our school does not have the space we would need. So we ask tonight for your advocacy, we ask for your partnership, and we ask for your help in getting us a new building into which we can open this continuation high school alongside SFIHS. Let us not reiterate the message that our country has sent this week. Let us say to our English learners and our newest immigrants to our city that they matter and that we will give them an education that is worthy of their strength. Thank you.